the cold front is falling in perfect alignment with <laughs> us here in Middle Tennessee. So a lot of folks have been asking me this. Are we going to be able to get a view? I do think that we will have at least some clouds around between 1030 and midnight when we could see that totality there of the lunar eclipse. But there could be some breaks where you may be out and uh, see the moon that will turn red from the eclipse. Let's talk about those storms coming in tonight. We do have a risk, at least for areas towards the north and west, to see a couple of stronger thunderstorms as this cold front starts to come into the area. So we already had some isolated storms out there for this afternoon. This picture was sent to us out of Lawrenceburg of just a couple of uh, pieces of hail that came down with a isolated storm there in Lawrence County. Right now we are looking good in Lawrenceburg, not raining currently temperature down to about 80 degrees. But if you look off on our power of five radars just outside of the viewing area, some storms starting to march their way here. In fact, we just got two brand new severe thunderstorm warnings issued one just above Union City and then down toward Brownsville and West Tennessee. These storms for hail and wind. Now as these storms get closer to us, it does look to weaken, but we're still going to have to watch them very closely. A couple of very isolated showers out there right now, right along 31 a uh, and also down towards Eagleville, just south of that, looking at an isolated shower up in Marshall County, but that's really it right now. It won't be until those storms arrive later tonight that we'll really get a better dose of some rain showers and again potentially some wind and a little bit of hail. So let's time this out for you. Looking at exact track, this is one of our short term models that is showing that line approaching us between now and say about seven, eight o'clock this evening. That's when you can expect it around Paris, potentially around Clarksville and Dixon. Watch as this model really breaks things up though as we head into the evening around 10 o'clock. It was still keeping some showers and some clouds around for time for the lunar eclipse. Best time to view it would be at 1110. I do think some storms some showers could be still east of I 65 at that point with temperatures in the 70s. Behind this system, we are looking to be much more comfortable as we go into Monday. You'll notice a drop in humidity levels and also temperatures will be cooling down just a bit as well. We're still looking at highs in the low 80s for the first couple days of the work week. Emily, those temperatures soaring back near 90 by midweek.